Hello everyone, welcome to the Innovation Lab. So I decided to make a follow-on video to address some of the questions that my uh, friends and some of my subscribers have asked me about the, the universal charger uh, system that I built a while back. So ever since I made a video to show how you can use some old server power supplies and the constant current DC to DC boost converter to build a very uh, cheap and efficient universal uh, battery charger. So I've received a lot of questions regarding how the system works. Is it a smart charger? Um, does it have uh, overcharge protection and all of that? So I'm making this video to go over uh, those questions. So before we get to answering the questions, I would like to walk you guys through the this uh, system to show you exactly uh, how to make the connections. I also showed it in my the first video that I made. You can check out the video. I uh, will add the link in the description for this video. So this connection is very simple. So obviously these are the batteries you're going to be charging. And here is where your AC comes in to your server power supplies. And this is the output of your server power supply. So in this system, I'm using two server power supplies and I have the outputs you know, connected in series to give me a 24 volt instead of a 12 volt. In the first video, I used a 12 volt, but anyways, whichever one you use is still gonna work because the DC to DC boost converter has a wide input voltage range. So now the 24 volts from the server power supplies come in here to the input of the DC to DC boost converter. Then you adjust your charging current and your charging voltage and this is the output of the boost converter then it goes to your battery and that is it it's that simple so now let me walk you guys through kind of a streamlined six step process that i use so the first step will be to know your battery so before you start charging your battery there are different kinds of batteries and battery chemistries and designs out there so you have a, a lithium phosphate which is what we have here or you can have a lithium ion battery and their, their charging voltages are slightly different or you can have a lead acid agm battery they are all kind of different so you have to know the battery you're charging so as to know the recommended charging voltage and charging current so that's step one the second step will be to adjust the output voltage or charging voltage in this case of your dc to dc boost converter to the battery voltage so in this case i'm charging two um, 12 volts uh, lithium phosphate batteries in series which gives us a 24 volt and the charging voltage that I'm going to be using will be 29.2 volts based on my calculation so I'm gonna adjust the output of this DC to DC boost converter to 29.2 volts precisely so the next step will be to adjust the constant current uh, output of this DC to DC boost converter all the way down close to zero as possible and the reason for that is you don't want to hit your battery with high currents when you plug them in before you start you know kind of dialing it down and that could also damage the dc to dc boost converter so step four will be to now connect your battery at this point you want to connect your battery and you're ready for charging so you power up the system and now with the system powered up Remember that you dial down the current down to zero. Now you have to dial it up to the desired charging current that is good for your battery. So in this case, my target will be about 10, 10 amps for charging these batteries. So if I'm doing a faster charging, maybe I'll go to 15 amps or maybe try to do 20 amps. But for this video, I'm gonna be doing 10 amps. So, and so that will be step five. Step six will now be to basically, you know, leave the battery to charge. Go grab a cup of coffee or, you know, play some guitar or go play some soccer or something. Um, then allow the battery to charge. But one thing I would recommend would be to make sure that you keep an eye on the battery. You know, um, just check in on it from time to time and make sure that you're charging your battery in an area that is safe, you know, well ventilated, and uh, nothing no electrical ha hazards or anything so but keep an eye on it you know keep coming back and looking at things make sure everything is going well the battery is charging well so yeah so that's it in a nutshell something i forgot to add earlier was that 
depending on the, the type of battery you're charging. So you have two different kinds of charging modes. One is the constant current mode and one is the constant voltage mode. So if you're charging a battery like lead acid or AGM or, or those kinds of battery chemistries, in most cases, the charge under constant voltage charging mode. As the voltage of the battery continues to rise, your charging current will continue to go down. So, but if you're charging batteries like uh, lithium phosphate or lithium uh, ion, so those batteries tend to have a low internal resistance when they are fully depleted. So what that means is your battery will go through two charging modes or phases. So the first phase will be the constant current and the second, the second phase will be the constant voltage. In the constant current mode or phase, your set charging current will remain constant. As you can see here, we set it to 10 amps. So as the voltage is increasing, the charging current will remain constant at 10 amps. But when it gets to a point, I think it's about 80% um, of the battery capacity, the battery will now kind of switch into the constant voltage phase, where the charging current will start dropping as your charging voltage rises. All right, so I just wanted to uh, kind of add that to help explain the first question a little bit better. All right, so now that we have everything set and our batteries are charging, so let's go ahead and try to answer some of the questions that I was talking about. So the first question was, you know, how does this system regulate charging voltage and charging current? And that is simple. As long as you have set the uh, recommended charging voltage for your battery, and the recommended charging current, as you can see here. So the constant current DC to DC boost converter will maintain those levels for you, the charging voltage and the charging current until your battery is fully charged. So the second question was, how does this system handle overcharge protection? So the overcharge protection is handled in like in two ways. So first of all, so if you're charging lithium ion or lithium phosphate batteries, they are designed with a BMS uh, overcharge or over discharge protection. So as soon as you get to the threshold voltage for the BMS, the internal circuit will cut off the charging system so that you don't overcharge. The second way that this system handles overcharge protection is through voltage equalization. As soon as your charger voltage and your battery voltage equalizes, so they will basically be at the same potential and you will see that the charging current will drop down to zero. And I'm gonna show that when these batteries are fully charged in the end. The last question that somebody asked was if this could be considered to be a smart charger. So my answer to that would be that it depends on how you look at it. So what makes this system uh, smart would be you walking with the system following the six step process that I described, understanding your battery charging requirements and adjusting everything correctly. So once you do that, the DC to DC boost converter being a constant current converter will kind of take over and regulate and regulate the charging voltage and your charging currents. So in a way, yes, your battery will never overcharge and everything will be safe. So, but from the standpoint of an actual, what a smart charger does, being able to kind of like understand your battery, kind of read the internal resistance of your battery, make some determinations, control charge and everything like that. No, it's not able to do that. And there's a reason why such chargers will cost you hundreds of dollars. Meanwhile, you are only spending about 30 to $40 on this setup. So yes, in a way, it could be a smart charger if you work with it, but in terms of the, you know, designed smart charging systems, no, it's not one of those. Right, I am glad you made it to this point. Our batteries are fully charged. So at this point, we have gone through the different charging phases or modes that I was talking about. So the first mode was the constant current mode where we saw that our charging current remained constant around 10 amps while the uh, battery voltage was slowly increasing until we got to 29.2 volts. So right around 29.2 volts, the battery now went into the constant voltage mode. So where the, the, uh, the battery voltage remained constant at 29.2 volts or 29.1 volts. 
and the charging current started to drop until we get to zero amps. So at this level, the battery voltage and charger voltage is now at the same potential. So now putting the system into the voltage equilibrium that I was talking about. So at that point, the charging current is almost down to zero. So what you will see is like small current bouncing between the battery and the DC to DC boost converter being the charger. So this process keeps your battery basically in the trickle charge mode, thereby protecting it from overcharging. All right, we have come to the end of this video and I hope that you found some good information from watching this video. And if you did, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and to share this video with your friends to help our channel grow. All right, my friends, I'll see you guys in the next video.